going guys? Sharblocks here. Back in 2019, if you guys have been watching my channel since then, you might remember I made a really stupid video. It was about playing Roblox on Windows XP after it was announced that Roblox would no longer support this operating system. I think it was around the 28th of August 2019 when Roblox officially announced this. They said that they will be ending support for Roblox on Windows XP and Windows Vista as well. This meant that anyone that was still running these operating systems would need to upgrade to Windows 7 or 8 or 10 if they wanted to continue playing Roblox. I would say the main reason why Roblox did this is because these operating systems were very outdated. They were even unsupported by Microsoft, which means they would no longer receive security patches or any security updates. It's fair enough that Roblox doesn't want to support these anymore. If you still use Windows XP or Windows Vista in 2020, you seriously need a new computer. And that's quite a big security risk and these operating systems are just really old. Windows XP was made in 2001 and Windows Vista was made in 2006 if I got that correct so yeah they are pretty old now. Back in 2019 surprisingly the vast majority of Roblox Windows players were using Windows 7. That's kind of surprising to me to be honest because even back in 2019 Windows 7 was about 10 years old. Keep in mind that Windows 7 did come out in like 2009. Me personally I've literally been using Windows 10 since 2015. I installed it as soon as it came out. Soon Windows 10 is going to be about 6 years old as well. That's kind of mad if you think about it. Time flies so fast. I was looking at the dev forum post from 2019 where Roblox were discussing this and someone asked a question if Roblox would stop supporting Windows 7 in 2020. The Roblox admin did actually reply to this and they said they had no plans to end support for Windows 7. I saw this funny part though. Apparently there is a Roblox rendering engineer that refuses to update to Windows 10. Bruh, don't be someone like that. If there's a new operating system, honestly just update to it. Especially if you're working in IT, like why why would you be using an old operating system? You've got to keep up to date with the new stuff. I swear these types of people that refuse to update operating systems are actually so annoying. Anyway, that brings us onto the topic of today's video. Roblox now requires Windows users to be running at least a DirectX 10 to play Roblox games. I believe the latest version right now is DirectX 12. And if you're wondering, well, what is DirectX? DirectX is a set of components in Windows that allows software, primarily and especially games. So it basically gets games to work with your video and audio hardware. So that pretty much means like graphics cards, like headphones, all of that kind of stuff. Many games use DirectX, including Roblox. And basically, Roblox is ending support for DirectX 9 very soon. If you are on Windows 8 or 10, well, you should be fine because DirectX 11 and 12 should come pre-installed. If it didn't, then a general Windows update should have fix this anyway. But I know many Roblox players still use Windows 7. And I think it's fair to say that Roblox is a fairly easy game to run, so maybe people that play Roblox don't necessarily have the latest computers. And there's a high chance that if you have Windows 7 and maybe your computer is not exactly the latest thing, then you might be still running DirectX 9, which could possibly mean soon you might not be able to play Roblox. If you are a Windows 7 user that is getting an error while playing Roblox games, I'm going to show you how to try and fix it in this video. Now I say try and fix it because it is a little bit different for everyone. First of all, I'm going to show you guys what this error is, when this update is coming out, and I'm also going to show you guys all the information about Roblox ending support for DirectX 9. This was the first tweet that I saw about this. This one is from someone called Vitolo or something. I don't know how you say this name, but this person said, when I went to Roblox, this warning appeared. It said that DirectX 9 graphics will stop working around April 28th. The warning is in my language but I will translate it into English. And here we can have a look at the screenshot. So this guy did translate it for us. It says for security reasons as of April 28th 2021 Roblox will no longer support DirectX 9. To continue playing Roblox use a provision that is compatible with the Roblox system requirements. So yep Roblox are pretty much updating the minimum system requirements which is kind of interesting. I replied and said it means your graphics card on your computer is not up to date enough to run Roblox. I did ask him what operating system he was using. I guessed it was like a Windows 7 operating system with like a Windows 2000 theme. He said yeah it's Windows 7. The interesting thing right he also said his version of Windows 7 is the most recent but he doesn't know why this warning came up.
came up. He checked his DirectX version and it was DirectX 11. So in theory, he shouldn't have really got this error. I also have a tweet from Bloxy News and they explain it very well. Starting April 28th, you will no longer be able to run Roblox if you are using a Windows PC running Microsoft DirectX 9. To continue playing on Roblox, you will need to upgrade to Microsoft DirectX 10 or above. They also followed up saying Microsoft DirectX 9 is typically only on PCs running on older software, such as Windows 98 and Windows XP. To check what Microsoft DirectX version you are running, type DXDIAG into the Windows search bar. So yes, we will do that in a second, just so you guys can check. But I just want to say, if you're on Windows 8 or Windows 10, you should be perfectly fine. Windows XP users, Windows Vista users, well, they can't play Roblox anyway. Windows 7 users, they might be on DirectX 9 and they will need to update. I will show you guys how to do that in a second. I did see a lot of people really confused about this. Like this person called M, they said, yo, I have a genuine question. It's probably going to sound super dumb, but what about laptops? Look, I'm not a tech person. I barely understand what this is saying. Words be too advanced for my vocabulary. And yeah, that's fair enough. I guess not everyone might understand what this says. It does sound kind of complicated. This person says, what? But Roblox is for everyone. Why are you doing this? How am I supposed to play and record? Like, it's my only go-to nowadays. Like, bruh, I'm for real gonna cry if this is a late April Fool's. <laughs> this is the best reply I've ever seen. Are you running goddamn Windows 98? If you don't know what something means, don't bother throwing a temper tantrum over it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Over on the official Microsoft website, they do show you how to check which version you are running. So as you can see, you can scroll down to your operating system. We've got Windows 10, 8.1 or 8, and we also have Windows 7. Now I will get onto Windows 7 in a second. First of all, let's just focus on these. All you have to do is type in DXDIAG in your search box. As you guys can see, I have typed it in on the Windows search icon and I have found it. It's called DXDIAG and it has like a little cross, like a yellow cross for the logo. And all you guys want to do is just click on this. It's going to open just like this. And as you guys can see, I am running the latest version. I have got DirectX version DirectX 12. So mine is perfectly fine. Roblox is not going to stop working on my computer anytime soon. If yours does say DirectX 9, then you will need to update it. Back on the Microsoft website, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description of the video. And if you guys are on Windows 7 and it does say DirectX 9, all you want to do is scroll down on this web page and you're going to want to get to the install section. So it says DirectX versions and updates by operating system. We are going to select Windows 7 and as you can see, there is actually a link here that lets you do a platform update for Windows 7 and you can install the latest version. So we're just going to click on this it's going to bring us to a new link. This one is called Platform Update for Windows 7. All you do is select your language, so mine would be English, and then you simply just click on Download. Now, I'm just gonna download it for an example. I don't even have Windows 7, I've got Windows 10. If you have Windows 10, don't install this, but you want to choose whichever version you're running, x64 or x86, probably just get this one. Let's go ahead, tick on it, just go on Next, and then it's just going to download like this. Now, I'm just gonna cancel mine because I don't want this. Oh, I think it just downloaded. I don't need this i'm using windows 10 and yeah if you are using windows 7 all you do is just click on it and go through with the setup and guys i want to see one more thing if you are still getting an error so let's say you're on windows 7 and you're trying to install or play roblox and you keep on getting this error it could also mean that your computer's graphics card is not good enough now if you're on laptop upgrading a graphics card might be a little bit of a problem because with laptops you can't necessarily upgrade every laptop's graphics card but if you have a desktop desktop computer, then you can upgrade your graphics card very easily. Even if you have an old desktop computer and you don't necessarily have much money to upgrade it, you can get a cheap graphics card. There are many cheap graphics cards going second hand that can run Roblox perfectly fine. Maybe like a GTX 560 Ti or a GTX 660. Something like that would be perfectly fine and you can get these for like 10 to 30 pounds. So to be honest, they are very cheap. They are very old to be fair, but they can still run small games 
games like Roblox. So if you are on Windows 8 or Windows 10, you don't have anything to worry about. Also, if you're on mobile, you don't have anything to worry about whatsoever. This video was mainly to clear up confusion. And if you are on Windows 7, then just make sure you update your DirectX. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.